This is the Transformers Generations Combiner Wars Deluxe Class Firefly. The figure is part of the first wave of the new Combiner Wars Deluxe Class series of figures. And here, he, here is the packaging. And it says you have to get all five to make Superion. Um, if you want to know my thoughts on these on this assortment, go check out my review for Alpha Bravo. So, okay, I forgot to show a couple things uh, for the Alpha Bravo review. I forgot to show his uh, trading card. Nothing spectacular. Here is Firefly. Interestingly enough, he's now called Firefly. In the old G1 toy, he was called Fireflight. Uh, could be some trademark issues. That's why Hasbro decided that he would be Firefly. Um, interestingly enough, I again am very pleased with this mold. Uh, I, I, you know, in my in my in my Alpha Bravo review, I, I mentioned I was very quick to judge this particular line of Transformers. I was saying like, oh man, Hasbro had a ton of time years ages to think about how they could make a wonderful combiner war combining uh, line of transformers just to uh, compete with the third party uh, uh, toy manufacturer third party transformers uh, companies out there and this is what they come up with and i was like oh come on hasbro but then you know opening up toys and really playing around with them and, and seeing how they work hasbro i think uh, you know what hasbro has done a good job and again, I'm very pleased with this figure. Let me just give you a quick size comparison. Here he is with Silverbolt. If you remember in the old G1, they all had the same height, with Silverbolt being just a little bit taller. But with the toys, obviously the middle part, uh, the body part would be bigger, but it's a little bit off scale in terms of uh, uh, cartoon or comic book accuracy. Oh, and I forgot to say in, in the Alpha Bravo review that yes, Alpha Bravo is, was in for a time part of the aerial bots in the idw comics uh but you know being a big g1 fan you know there's only been slingshot fire flight air raid skydive and silver bullet also uh you'll notice that this particular firefly or firefly fire flight firefly has a mask i don't recall any of the aerial bots having any masks or face plates on them uh, so that's a bit of a change. Maybe the toy had one. Uh, I, I could be wrong. I never had the old Aerial Bots uh, toys growing up as a kid. Superion was Superion wasn't really my favorite to stalk, but nevertheless, I never had the toys. So here are the other combiner toys that I have. This is the Energon um, sort of Scout class uh, co uh, combiner teammate, uh, supposedly Swindle. And this one is Whirl from the Fall of Cybertron line. Not bad, not bad scale. Um, okay. So paint apps for the figure. Again, very, very nice. Uh, he has all of the G1 colors of the, this really bright Power Glide Red, Optimus Prime Red. Uh, the paint, uh, paint apps on the wings, the white, the silver on him. Just amazing i mean immaculately done by hasbro I, I cannot say enough there's not a lot of things to complain about in terms of paint apps sculpt quality issues on this figure yeah and then he comes with his own personal blaster and the uh the the limb part the blaster that becomes an appendage either an arm or a foot and you'll notice, what I noticed when I opened up all the figures is that each of the figures, Hasbro did not recycle molds uh, or just change the colors. They had different uh, pieces for the appendages, like uh, Alpha Bravo had the Gatling guns. This guy has like photon blasters. I'm going to show this now so I don't have to show it in the next review. Um, Skydive has these sort of pointy laser thingies. So really different. Um, and, and I'm surprised Hasbro didn't do much recycling. And then the blaster for drag strip is different. The guns are different, as you can see. Alpha Bravo has a cannon. Uh, he's got this sort of machine gun blaster. Uh, and then, uh, sorry, Skydive has a double-barreled uh, 
sort of like Grimlock uh, blaster pistol. So very nice. Well done, Hasbro. Thank you for not um, being lazy. So we'll put that away. Articulation for the figure, basically the same as off of Bravo. He's got a ball joint neck that allows him to look up. So waist swivel, ball jointed shoulders, ball hinge shoulder, uh, elbows at ratchet, hinge knees, thigh swivel, and that's about it. So very, very nice. Um, okay, let's transform him into a limb because that's that's those are the steps, the stages before he becomes a jet. So let's transform him into an arm first. So if you're going to turn him into an arm, it can be a left arm or a right arm. It really depends on you. You don't want to put this right here. Uh, if you don't want the pieces showing, these uh, hollow pieces showing, you can always rotate the arm to go this way so that you don't show much. Um, so it's a little cleaner. And go ahead and fold these like that. And let's do him as a left arm. So obviously, you're going to want the... You're going to want the arm to bend this way since he's a left arm. So you're going to have to rotate here and make him bend that way. And then the fist, just like Alpha Bravo, opens up this way. And it, it's nice. Again, the engineering on these limbs, uh, the appendages, I'm just very impressed with it. It's, it's so universal. They found many ways to use it. And it does look nice. I mean, even if it's a separate piece that you need to attach, yeah, I was hoping that the limbs were, the appendages were integrated in the uh, in the particular figure, but then that would defeat or that would remove the mash-up ability of the figures, which Hasbro wants. So that's the limb, that's the arm mode. Very nice, he can hold his uh, blaster. Let's turn him into a foot. Let me just... This, again, the sort of compression transformation. I'm just very, very pleased with this whole engineering bit on these legs. Okay. Okay. And then the arms, they just, they just fold like this, I suppose. Yes. In, on, on the show, in the old 80s shows, in the old 80s show, on G1 Toy, they were supposed to combine this way, and they would, this is the front part of the foot, but the, the joint goes this way, so you'll have to slightly modify it to, uh, to look different uh, from the old G1. Yeah, but you know, I'm sure, I'm sure some of the old G1 and it might have a fit, but this is the way it's supposed to be now for the Combiner Wars. You could do it this way. I'm, I'm pretty sure if you don't really need a knee, if you're just going to display him on the shelf, you could do it this way. It doesn't really matter. That That's the whole idea of these combiners, mashup combiners. You could do it this way as well. So that's the foot. Interesting. And then uh, jet mode, you just unfold everything. Just change up the head. Out and there you go. Landing gear. Oh, this is nice. And they didn't put landing gear on him. And there you go. There is Firefly or Fireflight in his alt mode. Now, if you remember in the old, well, let me just yeah, nice little comparison here. In the old G1 uh, toy, Firefly or Fireflight was, I think it was an F4 Phantom. F4 Phantom 2 uh, alt mode. Now he looks more like a Harrier jump jet, which is nice. I'm glad there's a bit of an update. I, don't know, I remember Slingshot was the Harrier. Anyway, um, so it's nice. Uh, the F4 was great, but this one I think is a lot better in terms of aesthetics and overall design. So I'm pretty happy with the change in alt mode. You can mount the weapons here as well. 
like a seeker would. So not not too bad. I'm just very, very pleased with this figure. Um, I'm going to give it straight out 10 out of 10. Uh, just because of the sheer engineering, design, and great homage tribute to the old G1 toy. Very, very nice. 10 out of 10. Well done, Hasbro. Um, and again, I apologize for judging the line way too quickly. So there you go, folks. I hope you've enjoyed this video review. If you did, please click the thumbs up icon. Don't forget to share this video. Subscribe to this channel. Check out all my videos on this channel. Chefatron, follow me on Twitter for my toy purchases. Instagram for my toy sightings here in Manila. Both uh, are on the username FX Friends. This has been the Transformers Generations Combiner Wars Deluxe Class Firefly. Thanks for watching.